moving right along here. We're working with photos this time. And the easiest way to store photos is just a single table, photos. Uh, but of course, they need to be related to a particular user who created the photos. So we'll have an ID. And all we'll store about an image itself is the image URL, which will just be a string. You know, we could have added a caption as a varchar, excuse me, not a string. We could have added a caption. We could have added location data. You know, on Instagram, you can say where it was taken. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of things that we could do, but we're just focusing on image URL in our case. And then the user ID, very important, foreign key pointing to users.id. And then we also have created at, just like we had with users, just a nice way to be able to, you know, sort photos by most recent to least recent um, or figure out the first photo somebody posted or if, if one photo is posted before another if you know one looks like it's this has actually happened to me or people take a photo of mine and repost it claiming that it's their own it doesn't happen often but two times actually by the same person um, and the person actually like flipped the image like mirrored it posted it claimed that it was their own but of course I could just show that mine was posted first thankfully because there's a date i mean it didn't really matter anyways right it's just photos on a social network but still having that created ad in there helped me there so let's implement it now it's pretty straightforward I'll just create table photos we're going to have an id we'll also have our photo or image URL, whatever we want to call that, will have user ID and then created at. So ID is an integer or int auto increment. Primary key will be referencing photos.id from other tables because things like comments are associated with a particular photo or likes are and tags as well. So we need that primary key there. Image URL will just be a varchar, 255, uh, but we should add not null. We don't want that to be empty or to be null. That's a big problem uh, because there'd be no photo to display. And then user ID, that will be an integer. And let's also make that not null. A photo needs to be associated with the user. We can't have an orphan photo that has no user. And then created at will just be another timestamp with the default value of now, the time it's created. But we still need one more piece, which is our foreign key constraint, which is going to pertain to user underscore ID, which is referencing or references the user's table, the ID field. Did I spell that right? Reference. There we go. Okay. And that will create our photos table. So if I just resource this whole thing, now if I do show tables, we have both tables in there. If I do a describe photos, we've got photos there, everything looks good. And just like before, if you want to stick around, I'm going to insert one or two photos in here associated with our three users. But I'm done with creating the schema, um, so you feel free to move on to the next one, which is comments. But if you want, you can stick around as I do an insert into photos, and we'll just do an image URL and a user ID. Those are the two things we have to supply ourselves. Values, and our first one, let's say blue submits it, and we'll come back to the URL, but blue's ID is going to be one. And if we weren't sure, we could do, you know, select star from users. You can see blue is one, Charlie Brown is two, and Colt is three. So we'll just do something silly. Let's just say the URL is just random like that. I'll duplicate that a couple times. In Cloud9, it's Command Shift D or Control Shift D on a PC. Um, and then let's, you know, here's another random thing. This time it's submitted by Charlie Brown. Let's say Charlie Brown has another one as well, like that. Okay, and I haven't submitted any photos. That should work. If we run our source again, this time 
so it you know, dropped the database, recreated it, switched to it with the use command, created our two tables, inserted all of this data. Now if we can do select star from photos, then we should have three simple photos there with a user ID. We're now at the point where we could do a simple join if we wanted to, to figure out who posted these photos. So again, definitely if you feel good about this, move on. Um, and don't waste time watching this, but if you want the practice, we could just do a select, let's say I wanted to have the image URL created at and the name, the username of the person instead of the user ID. So we'll just do a select star to start from photos, join, and we'll just do a default inner join, users on, and we're going to do it where photos dot user ID equals users dot ID. So if we start with that, there's a lot there. So let's thin it out to just be photos dot image URL comma users dot username. Is that what it is? Username? Yes. Just like that. Copy it. Okay. And now we can see Blue the Cat created that and Charlie Brown created those two. All right. And what I'm going to do just to set a pattern for the next few videos is move these you know, joins and things that I'm just playing around with down to the bottom and comment them out. We don't want those to run, but I'll leave the insert statements here as well as to create tables. All right, moving on.